hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the spring java west configuration in past videos we had seen uh, how to configure uh, java class as a spring bin in configuration file using some xml tags and we had also seen how to uh, register java class as a spring bin using uh, spring annotations right so what if if you want to get rid of the xml file you don't want to use xml file at all then in that case uh, you will have to create a configuration file right uh, using java class itself right and that java class is almost equivalent to the X, uh, spring X, uh, spring x spring configuration file that is almost equivalent to the spring uh, xml configuration file and uh, to perform the same you required some uh, spring annotations so in this slide i'm going to show you how to i mean uh, create a, a spring application without any xml file right so let's go through the slide so this is the overview section saying that java west configuration option uh, enables you to write most of your spring configuration without xml but with the help of few java based annotations now first of all i'm going to discuss about the at the rate configuration annotation uh, the central arti artifact in a spring java configuration support is the at the rate configuration annotated class so that means at the rate configuration uh, annotation we can use before the class uh, these classes consist principally of at the rate bean annotated methods that define instantiation, configuration and initialization logic of, for objects that are managed by the IOC container. Annotating a class with the at the rate configuration indicates that class can be used by the spring IOC container as a source of bean definitions. The simplest possible at the rate configuration class would read as follows. You can see you can create a class and that class you can uh, annotate as a at the rate configuration. That means this is your configuration uh, configuration class and within this configuration class you can uh, create a lot of method and those method you can annotate as a at the rate bean and every method will be responsible to uh, return a a single spring bean and which will register in the, into the spring ioc container so that we are going to see in the next slide an application may use at the rate configuration annotated class or many at the rate uh, uh, configuration configuration is meta annotated at the uh, as a at the rate component therefore at the rate configuration annotated classes are candidates for component scanning and can also take advantage of at the rate auto wire annotations at the field and method levels but not at the constructor level at the rate configuration annotated classes must also have a default constructor you can also wire externalized uh, values into at the rate configuration annotated classes with the help of at the rate value annotation right so uh, at the rate value annotations and at the rate auto wired at the rate component these are the annotations already we had covered in the past videos but still this this, this annotation we will use in this tutorial as well right now let's talk about the at the rate bean annotation at the rate bean is a method level annotation and a direct analog to the xml bean tag right so uh, basically inside the uh, uh, spring configuration file we use uh, bean tag to configure a java class as a, a spring bean so similar fashion if you want to register uh, any bean with a spring container then uh, when you use uh, java based configuration then we'll use at the rate bean tag before the method and that way method will return the instance of class and that will register into the spring ioc container the annotation supports some of the attributes uh, so this is uh, at the rate bean is almost anal analogous to bean tag in xml configuration file the annotation supports some of the attributes offered by the bean such as init method destroy method auto wiring and name so as we had seen in the earlier video tutorial when you configure 
a java class as a spring bin in a spring configuration file then bin bin tag is having a lot of attribute right some of our attributes like init method destroy method auto wiring name of the bean or id of the bean you can specify so these are the attributes also you can specify along with the at the rate bean tag you can use at the rate bean annotation uh, in a at the rate configuration annotated class uh, or at the rate component annotated class now declaring a bean so how we can declare a bean in class in a class which is annotated with a at the rate configuration so so what we have discussed here is the complete example to declare a bean simply annotate a method with with a at the rate bean annotation if you use this method to register a bean definition within the application context of the type specified as the methods return value by default the bean name will be the name as the method name so you can see the code snippet over here so i have created a class in this slide app config and this class is annotated as a at the rate configuration that means this class represents a configuration file uh, that is just equivalent to the this uh, xml file right so in a spring configuration file we have a root tag is beans beans start here and we have some xml doc uh, along with the beans and uh, beans closing here and within this tag we register a lot of java classes as a, a spring bean like this bean name equal to name of the bean and class is equal to the qualified name of the class right so in a spring configuration file uh, java configuration based so we create a class with any name and that class annotate as a, at the rate configuration and we create a method uh, we can create a many methods within this class uh, in this example i have created a method is called transfer service and return type of this method is transfer service and basically this returns the uh, implementer of this transfer service right and that is nothing but the transfer service impl right so now uh, this class is basically a configuration class and this method is annotated as, as a at the rate bean that means this object object of transfer for uh, trans, uh, transfer service impl will be registered into the ioc container and id of this bean will be the name of the method that is transfer service right so same thing i am trying to explain over here the preceding uh, configuration is exactly equivalent to the uh, following S -S spring configuration file like this beans and this is this and this is almost equivalent but this is the java version and this is the xml version right both declaration make the bean named uh, transfer service available in the application contents bound to a object instance of type transfer service impl so this is the type of transfer service impl and this is the uh, interface right and this class implements this interface so return type may be the interface type but uh, here we are returning the object of implement uh, object of its implementer right and uh, so here transfer service is nothing but the transfer service is nothing but the uh, instance of transfer service imp now how to inject dependent beans so when at the rate beans uh, beans have a uh, dependencies on one another uh, expressing that dependency is as simple as having one bean method call another right here so here we have a app config which is annotated as a at the rate configuration and here i have a two class we have a foo and bar two classes we have so we have written two methods over here public foo uh, foo is the return type and foo is the method name itself and here this method is basically returning the instance of uh, foo of uh, foo and uh, foo is dependent on the bar so basically we are just calling another method bar which returns the instance of bar bar so this way you can re resolve the dependency if foo class is dependent on the bar class then while creating the constructor of foo you can make call to the another method that is called bar and which is also annotated with the at the rate bean which returns the instance of bar so this way you can resolve the dependency 
in this example of, of the foo beam receives a reference of bar via constructor injection so whatever we have discussed in this slide we are going to uh, look into uh, a practical example based on that in next video tutorial so that uh, you will be very much clear about the these concepts so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial